Welcome back to Jatai Academy. Today we're going to be doing the Kris Kardashian haircut. We're looking at some inspiration photos here and the main difference between these is the length of the bangs. So some are a little longer, some are a little shorter, but the basic shape is the same. Just short on the sides, longer on the top. So let's get started. First thing we're going to do is add a little bit of Jatai Blade Glide. This is going to make the hair easier to comb, cleaner to section, and also give me a cleaner cut when I'm using the razor, which is what I'm using here, which is the Feather Styling Razor, and I'm using the Type R Blade. So I'm going to take my first section around the front hairline, and it's going to be at a slight angle going back, and I'm holding that 90 degrees, holding it straight out, and I'm going to cut it slightly shorter at the bottom of the parting and a little longer at the top, but not a lot. And I'm going to slowly start to work that section all the way back to the center back. And each section will be held into the previously cut section. So the first section is cut at 90 degrees. The second section is pulled into the front section and they're cut in the center of those two sections. I remove section one, section three and section two is held to the center and so on all the way till I get to the back. And as I get behind the ear, that parting is parallel but it goes all the way down to the nape of the neck. I'm still gonna follow the same guide that I've cut above the ear, but I'm just gonna follow that line all the way down to the neck. So it's gonna get slightly shorter as I'm going down to the nape of the neck and just taking my time and trying to maintain the same razor stroke throughout the entirety of the haircut underneath. Now uh, on this particular mannequin head, it's kind of pokey over the ears. So when I first cut that, it starts to stick straight out. So my first instinct is to kind of freak out because it's gonna stick out from the head. But I'm just gonna ignore it and just follow through and be as methodical as possible and make sure I get the, the line cut as cleanly as I can. After I dry it, then I'll go through and deal with anything that's going to stick out improperly and I'm not going to try to deal with it right now. I want to deal with it when it's completely dry. So here you'll see me walking my guide all the way to the center of the back. After I get done, I'm going to take my Kyoto scissors and I'm just going to go through and point cut as I cross check the entire underneath that I just cut. I want to make sure that there's not any kind of long hair sticking out and I want to keep this graduation really really smooth. So just point cutting anything that sticks out improper. There's a long piece right there. Let's cut that off. There we go. And then just continuing that all the way up the back of the head. Not trying to recut the shape, just cutting anything that sticks out too long. Now I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and click the notification bell so you can be notified of any kind of future videos that we post. Now on the left side, I'm following the exact same pattern and the same methodology that I used on the right side. So we're going to motor through this pretty quickly. And I'm trying to keep my section size really consistent. The more consistent that I can keep my section size, the less cleaning up that I'll have to do at the very end, and the, more, the, the smoother that the overall shape is going to be. Keeping a nice, even razor stroke from top all the way down. Now on the, the right side, I cut top down. On the left side, it's more natural for me to want to cut from the bottom up just because I'm going from the tip of my fingers into my palm, like I did on the right side. But I have to continue to keep the razor stroke the same on both sides, which is going from the top down. And here we're going to go through point cut just to clean up and make sure everything's cross-checked and smooth. Got a little point sticking out there at the corner of the hairline, so we'll fit that in. Make sure everything's nice and clean and even. 
Now from here I'm going to add a little more blade glide just because the hair is beginning to dry out a little bit. And I want to make sure that I keep everything consistently moist and wet. Here I'm taking a parallel section to the very first section that I took from the center of the recession straight back into the center of the back of the head. And we're going to pull that out at peak curvature of the head which means I can lay my comb right at the parting and it will show me the exact elevation that I need. And I'm just going to take a broader razor stroke on top than I did underneath so that I can keep more texture on the top and keep everything blended. So I want to leave a little more length, but I don't want to build up of weight. So by taking a broader razor stroke, I can have the length, but I don't have the build up of weight. So I'm taking a nice broad stroke, working from the front to the back, holding that out at the peak curvature using my guide from underneath and working that all the way to the back center. Now I want to be mindful of the hair length around the front because in some of the pictures we were looking at her hair was pretty long around the front and some it was a little shorter so I'm going to go for a little longer and I can always cut it shorter if I feel that it needs it. So that is how I determined my length at the very front and then I work that into the back, I'm working into where it's going to blend. Here everything is blending in the back. The only place it may be disconnected is right there at that very front section. And you can see I got a little disconnection there. And we can go back and cut more of that bang off if we need to. After we texture it, it's going to feel a little bit shorter as well. After I finish on this side and I get the lengths looking like I want, that's looking pretty good, I'm going to go through and do the same thing on the other side. After I finish the other side, I'm going to pull everything straight up and make sure I cut that point off on the very top. Now her hair is kind of in a pointed shape on top, but it's not exaggerated of a point like this. It's longer on top, but I want to make sure that there's not a point hanging out. A point will tend to get more lumpy and grow out kind of funky and flip. Now after I've evened off the top, I'm going to pull my bang section out and I'm going to go through and channel cut this pretty aggressively because her hair was very aggressively uh, channeled around the front and it had a lot of texture. So I'm going to go through channel cut each section around the top to make sure I get that separation around the front. Please follow us on all of our social media. We got Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. Please give us a follow. There's a lot of good information out there. I think you'll like it. Continuing to work that back until I run out of hair and I have everything blended. I'll try not to retexturize the same section until I've done the entire top. And then if I need to go back in, I'll go back in. But I want to get an even amount of texturizing over the whole top before I start to really fine tune it. Now I'm going to go through and start blowing it dry, getting everything up off of the scalp, stretching it with a little bit of a brush around the front, and then we'll round brush just to put a little bit of a bend in it, especially around the front. I want that to flow over to the, the right side. After I've got that, we've got a little point right here on the front that I don't like, so we're going to use my uh, Jatai Tokyo Thinning Scissors, and I'm going to go through and just point cut that right in the front to cut the length off. So I'm going beyond just thinning and actually going into cutting of the length. By going through with the thinning scissor and cutting the length, it gives me a similar feel to what a razor would, but where a razor may damage hair that's dry, especially if it's colored like this, the texturizer won't. Now I'm going to go through and add a little bit of styling solution, kind of a light hold gel, just to give me a little control over that cowlick over the right ear and also to create some separation. And after I've uh, gone through and separated everything like I want, I'm going to hit it with a blow dryer just to solidify that set. And this is our end result. I think it's looking pretty good. I think we got the textures right and the overall shape is pretty good. So please check out the Jatai Academy. There's a lot of really great information on there and you can even post and share your own. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.